Hi, my name is Andrew, and I work on the perception team for Waymo Via. The perception team sits between the hardware team uh, and the behavior prediction and planning teams. So we sort of consume all the information that comes from all the hardware and all the sensors on the trucks. And then we sort of make sense of it into a format that the behavior prediction team can use to predict what other vehicles are gonna do around us and the planning team to figure out what our vehicle should do in response. We share a lot of technology with the Waymo One vehicles, but being a larger vehicle, we have more of those sensors and in different locations. We have to see much further ahead of the vehicle than you do driving downtown at say 30, 35 miles an hour. So at 65 miles an hour, we need to see hundreds and hundreds of meters ahead of the vehicle. And that puts up very big uh, constraints and requirements on the perception system to see at such long ranges. Distance sort of translates into time. The more further ahead we see something, the more time we have to execute that maneuver to either stop for it or to lane change around it. And so that's what drives a lot of the constraints on how far ahead we need to see things and what kinds of sensors we can use to see that far. But there's also a good portion of this, which is what we call discovery, which is just going out and driving and, and realizing that there are situations that we you know, may not have expected. Uh, you know, maybe we don't predict to see a piano in the middle of the road, but something like that happens. You know, there's crazy things that happen on the road. So it's predicting what we know we're gonna have to deal with, even when it's rare, and also finding things that we wouldn't have expected and, and tagging those and figuring out solutions to those as well. I think one of the things that's really uh, exciting now is uh, to scale this up and to get all the code running on the, on the onboard systems and figure out how are we going to uh, deploy this on multiple routes across the country and really starting to see it work uh, is pretty neat.